Right, hello everybody, welcome along to League of Europe. This is round number 14 of the season. We've got three more rounds to go. The championship is looking very tight at the top and this is a race that could turn on its head. We head to Zandvoort, the home of Max Verstappen fans. It is a Dutch Grand Prix. My name is Jess Ball. I'm not on my own today. I've got someone that's kindly offered to join me in the commentary box. It is the legend himself, Mark, also known as Old School. Mark, how you doing? I'm really good and I'm probably better than this lot because they probably didn't want any rain and they've got full wet conditions. So ah. that is going to be spicy. For, it'll be interesting to know what the weather's like for the race. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain when we race because I haven't done one single lap of practice in the wet. But that's a different subject. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hope it doesn't rain in our race either because on medium TC it is absolutely awful in the wet. But we will cross that bridge once we get to it. But let's look at the standings actually so we just talk, touch briefly on it if I can get the standings up. There we go. You can see the car, you can hear the cars in the background but we'll go to the cars in just a moment. So, Chill, currently sitting on 191 points. You got a podium last week. To Dmorts, 188 points. The gap is separated by three points. YYY in third on 131. Ryan B in fourth, 117. And we got some permutations as well to go through. We got Cam on 113. Connor O'Keefe on 110. He did not race last week. And we got to get MCR, Guapo and Jay Luke, your top 10. But uh, yeah, Chill, Chill has been on and off, but he's starting to pick up recently. d Morts has pretty much been the most consistent out, out, out of the lot as well. But Chill, after scoring more points this last week, managing to stay on, on top. Yeah, and this will be a track, as, as I say, as he spins on his out lap. Um, <laughs> but this will be a track for him that he will want to take advantage of the fact that the others are on wheel. So Chill was on pad, um, he uses ABS. So those two round here are a massively helpful combination, especially compared to the rest of the tracks and the rest of the, and for the, rest of the calendar. Uh, maybe Brazil aside ever so slightly, but this is a pure pad track traditionally. So he will be eyeing to build that gap or at least keep the lead to Demorts, I suspect. Yeah, I think so as well. And I mean, like it is, probably easier with people with abs but people without abs i think could struggle a bit more but we'll have to wait and see but first used in formula one back in 1952 and oh chill's gone in the pits <laughs> why have you done that my friend I, I i don't know maybe he thinks the track's gonna get lighter i don't know let's see who's on a lap first then after chill it's uh mcr that's on a lap then so you pass the turn one, you're heading towards turn four. Ideally, you want to be going to the outside line through here in the dry at least. Maybe a different line to take in the wet as well. And uh, Nicky Lauda has won quite a lot here. Obviously, Alan Prost as well, Jackie Stewart, Jim Clark. It was when the classic layout was on this circuit, 1952 to 1985, until they changed it for safety reasons. Um, heading past turn eight and nine as well i can't imagine we'll be like in the wet when it's uh understeery at least i think it'll be very hard for the drivers as mcr now comes to the back straight in a normal dry track drs will be activated here but of course not now as uh, i think some of these drivers will probably go on more than one lap on these tires because hey you don't get as much wet tires in the weekend just in case it's obviously a wet race which i'm not entirely sure of. i'll check the discord in just a moment and so you'll probably do one push lap, then one pretty much banker lap where he's saving the ERS, and then he'll do another push lap once again. So MCR then up to the line. Cool looking is fastest at the moment, but it's looking like MCR can go quickest. Yes, he can. 123.701. I think we've got a Red Bull that's up next. It's not Ryan B. Oh, I thought it was a Red Bull. Where's the Red Bull? Oh, oh, it is Ryan B. Okay then. My, my bad. I was just—I must be following another car. But uh, yeah, Ryan B's up to third at least. Yeah, Guapo's the next one round. Really interested to know how people take the the uh, the chicane in uh, sector sector three because a lot of people will take the curb, but in the wet, I've no idea if that is a viable option. I just saw a Guapo go over it fairly confidently as he's coming around. I expect him to to go quite well. Um, he shows some pace when he's when he's here, so 
He could well go pole here, I suspect. Oh, close. 24-4. But MCR, cracking lap from him. He's usually quite good in the wet um, around here. I, I, can't, I can't remember what track was raining this season. Not quite a lot as Grappo moves out the way, it looks like. Jay looks on a lap as well in sector one right now as well. He's a man that doesn't like the wet conditions. So uh, he's not going to be very happy um, around there because he's usually doing quite well in qualifying this season. Call the kicker goes fastest again. One thing that's going to be hard to tell is who's on laps and who's not because they're going to be on more mm. than one lap on these tyres. Chill goes out again. And we got a Haas up to the line. No MCRs going into the pit. We got Harry. There he is in 10th position. Well, he's going to stay 10th because he's going to go on a push run now. As I was uh, alluding to, I think Ryan B is going to do the same. Yes, he is. Next will be uh, Harry's teammate who's about to start a lap. I feel he was going to stay on his outlap for a very long time. But let's go on board with Jaylee then for the final set to 58.5 was his second sector. And I don't know if it was purple against the ones around him, but he was very tentative on the throttle for the final part, which I, I would be, to be honest. I'm sure everyone who's racing tonight would do the same. Jay Luke's on a pad, so I think this could be a track where he could do well in the dry, at least. So Jay Luke, up to the line, 123.7, P3. Hmm, good luck from him. And um, interestingly, we've only got one driver here at home Grand Prix. We've got a lot, a lot of Dutch drivers in League of Europe. We do. It's Matt Tibos, another pad man, puts it on provisional pole. Judy shows coming over the line, and that's not the best lap from the Brazilian man there. But um, unfortunately for him, but Chill was struggling. And Kuda Kicker, who is the home driver, he is the Dutchman in this. As he is, wow, that is a hell of a lap from Toyin Coin. Wow. 22.8 that, that is incredible that is incredible he did get the hat trick last week he won the race i believe he got pole oh, as well chill. Uh, what's happened to chill? in the wall oh he's managed to keep it i thought that was curtains I thought that, he's lost I thought it that was retirement yeah oh don't hit the yeah. like a board oh he did <laughs> i thought that was that just from the angle it seemed like I'm amazed. He's so lucky he hasn't lost a wheel there. And that could be the difference. That that could be, we could look back on that in four weeks' time and say that might have been something that's helped him get the title if he does, if he manages to get it because that was so lucky. He can't afford to have more than one bad race in this championship. And with Chill, you either get one very good race or a few very... Uh, bad races so we'll watch out i think judy show has got no front wing as well we've got i believe a few people out on laps again jay luke's about to start one farrell who did very well last week was very impressed with his performance he's preserving again he was in the alpine last week with join coin he's not in the alpine this week he's in the alpha Tauri replacing um white trial white white trial white's missing a race that is the first race i've 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 Ooh. seen him not in this lobby. As Harry's retired, binned it final corner. Oh, I'm trying to see who I can go on board with. Cam. Oh, that's a <coughs> weird place to bin it. That, I think he's just got on the power and snapped it into the the opposite wall. I suspect is he's tried to overcorrect. Would be my suspicion. I wasn't on board with him, but. Yeah, so it's going to be probably a back row start, assuming at least one of a Leddy or MCFC, who will be a very happy man because his team are in the FA Cup final after beating Sheffield United 3-0. <laughs> so he'll be, uh, he'll be buzzing doing this race as Tibos is coming. I'm keeping an eye on Tibos because, do you know what? He's such a good driver. I've raced with him in many different leagues, many different places. Um... And I've always had the, I've always been very impressed with his pace. I'm actually surprised he's not higher up in the standings. But I know this will be a track that he will like. And um, he's only on 53 points, but he's actually got, other than his DNF, the previous two races, he got two fourth places. So expect him to challenge. He's not got a podium this season, but he might be my dark horse pick for a podium. Because it's going to be dry as well. I've just got confirmation from Harry. It is dry okay. in the race, which... I think really makes things very, very interesting because you can run, you have to run max downforce here um, at Zanfort in the dry. 
it's uh, which is slightly odd in my opinion because you'd think it would be a real kind of high downforce track it still is high downforce but in these conditions they're going to have to potentially kind of compromise their setup one way or another as a lady the man from uruguay has is... left his session so it's Grappa i yeah. think left as well Ooh, hopefully pearson's behaving um but that's not great news for for, for him but hopefully he can get back in um and it's just a bit of a blip yeah, look, um, luckily on PS5, though, um, the ability of joining through an invite that was sent originally is doable. But if he's on PS4, he's screwed and someone else will need to send him an invite. But uh, the home favourite, let's go on board with the home favourite, shall we? Caller kicker, the, the, the one on the wet tyres right now. This is so tricky. I, I hope it's not like this tonight when we race. <laughs> I, 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 I'm calling curtains mm. to be on. Oh! As uh, someone else has been, I think it was a Haas. Um, so it's potentially, MCR. was it? Yeah, oh, I'll tell you one thing I've noticed. The Inters are out. There's a few sets of Inters on the on the drivers. So Demorts, Ryan B, Tibos and Toincoin are on these Inters. Uh, I'm afraid them are in the pits. on Inters and MCFC as well. Yeah, so I'm going to have a little ride on board with him. Just see what it's like from his perspective, how sketchy it is. It, it looks... there's still standing water. If I was him, I wouldn't have gone out on enters. What's he going to do? He's, he's, he's taking a lap, so he's obviously got some, some level of confidence. So this will be interesting. It just looks too wet to me. I, I, I... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that... no, that's definitely not the right wrong, the right tyres, Ryan B. If, uh, if I were you, I'd come into the pits. I think MCFC's realised that we, he was on the wrong tyre and he's come, kept coming straight away. <laughs> So I think he's done a smart thing. He did an insulation lap, and he was like, nah. Um, and Demorts is going out as well. Don't know why. Matt Tibbles is as well. And I know why Matt Tibbles is doing well, because he's not in an Alpine. Because um, Alpines <laughs> don't tend to do well when I'm uh, commentating, apart from last week where they got a 1 2. So uh, the curse is lifted, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really happy about that. But uh, Matt Tibbles then, still a bit too early. Oh. Oh, Chill was under. Oh, that was nearly under steering in the wall. He's going to improve. I think he's going to do a 24. So jumps up to ninth, but he'll get round. I'm actually amazed we're seeing so many people go out now. I would have thought mm. they would wait like the top six are doing, just because the if, if it is going to inters, then you want to go out really as late as possible. Yeah, I think. The la if you're the last person, you'll get the best track condition. So you ideally want to be the last person out on circuit. De I think Demorts is being very brave. He, he took it s mm. similar to what uh, uh, Ryan B did. But Ryan, Ryan B's in the pit. He's doing like rally cross drifting. Oh my goodness. Um, Demorts is playing with fire because if he puts this in the wall, the only, this is another problem going out early, isn't it? If you yeah. put it in the wall when you retire, everyone else is going to improve if the conditions do get better. So slightly risky I he's nearly two seconds down i'd just get this round if i was him and just park it up for a minute and then go back out but... uh, oh Ooh, careful and... demorts <laughs> and uh, you gotta be careful with demorts because his nearest rival chill is right behind him and chill is more than likely mm. going to improve and he's improving again by seven temps so he's going to jump quite a bit up the order it is improving to be fair but not as much for inters yet so Chiu, I think, is going to jump ahead of Demorts. Wow. Wow. P4 for him, 123.159. That is not good if you're the likes of uh, Demorts right now. But uh, Cam going through Sector 2. Judy Show is about to start his uh, next run. Um, MTFC, what are you doing? Why are you on softs? Um, <laughs> it's a brave um, strategy. It is a brave strategy, but you're going to waste it for the race, my friend. Well, yeah, there's also that, actually. Yeah, I didn't, um, didn't even think about that, but he's a... I don't know, maybe he's a big rally fan. Yeah, maybe he's a yeah, rally cross fan. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know, really, to be honest. It's, stop, it's, not, it's hardly even raining, but it's still not enough rain. The standing water is taking a long time to clear off. Mm, Tibos... I'm keeping an eye on Tibos. Now, I'm really intrigued why he didn't pit. Demorts did. 
and I think that's probably the right play. But Tibos is obviously confident that this is improving enough, but I just from the throttle input, so I'm not seeing it. No, I'm not either. He's, again, he's a bit more tentative right now, and it does take... I think they'll have to stay on four wets. Or may, if I was like Tibos, I would come in, wait until the prime... Oh, MCFC's out. Not surprise, surprised. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Tibos... Sorry. Oh, yeah. So I was going to say, does Tibos have enough time to come back in? This is the only problem. Oh, yeah, good point. He doesn't. So we'll, we'll would... see how he does turn one this time. If he if he does it a lot mm. better than last time, then, then we know that the track's improving. Uh, a lot better, I would say, than last mm. time. But again, still a bit tentative. There's still parts of the track where you can see the standing water is gone. So we'll see what he set to one is like. We'll follow him through the rest of this lap then. Because I think Ryan B's out on inches as well. Yeah, it is definitely getting more into territory soon, not going to lie. So I have to say, oh, he's one second down. Okay. So I think <laughs> I think it, a minute too early, I think, for Matt Tibos. Yeah. Do you know who I'm amazed is out back out on wets is Toyn Coin. Because he's got such a big gap. I would have thought... Because yeah. if it suddenly goes into now, you know, when they go over the line in a minute and a half, it might get caught short here, but I, I highly doubt it. I think it's not improving enough. He was purple set to one, so you can see that he is liking the wet conditions. But yeah, I, I would have gone out, out on Inters, personally. I think it could be Inters time, but you never know. There could be people that don't improve. He's purple in the middle set to... And I, I thought I saw someone bin it there, but I was just imagining things. But, uh, nope, it's, uh, I am not imagining things. It's his teammate, Julie Show, who's been yeah. it on Inters. It's, I think, on the cusp of not being the, t the right tyre for anybody, whether you're on wets or Inters, really. As Farrell goes fastest. And then, and then Toy Coin goes even faster by six, by uh, four tenths of a second. So there we go. Sawing coin is fastest. Can anyone improve? Let's watch Ryan B actually. I always always do on a lap. No, he's not on a lap. Right, Ryan B's on a lap. He's eight he's only eight tenths slower this time. So not quite slow fast as well. Slower than uh uh who was that on on on, on in inches. I'm not entirely sure. No, he's backing off anyway. That explains it. Okay. <clears throat> well this is this is Tibos' last shot. I don't think he'll get over the line, so this could be a gamble that's not paid off for him. That extra lap might cost him. That could do. And even though you, people might do better on Warner Inters, some people don't. And, no. and he hasn't got much ERS either. So this is... Oh, he's not going to do it, Mark. He's not going to do it. No. He's got 10 seconds. And it takes more than 10 seconds to get through here. So, uh, five, four, three, two, one. And checker flag's fallen. Cam won't be able to improve on his run. Matt Tibos. No, nope, he's not going to improve either. Uh, we've got Jaden's teammate, Farrell, who improves to 126.6. Toy wow. Coy goes fastest again, 122.190. As uh, so we've got Hass has spinned spin it. That's uh, not MCR, but oh, that's a Leddy. Okay, that explains it. Um, we've got Chill, who was on a lap, but I think he's backed off. Um, we've got Judy Show. Oh, it's Ryan B's binned it. Okay, hopefully, you don't get beached, my friend. Julie Show's binned it as well. He's got no front wing. Demort, Pitts, that's not enough for him. Cool, a kicker and chill are on runs. We'll watch her chills first. Not improving. I'm shocked. Ooh. Yeah, I am it's shocked. the wets. It's definitely the wets. So J Luke is a couple of attempts up. MCR is out of it. J Luke, I think, is going to be the last person that's got a chance of improving. And he could jump chill and uh, a guapo. Yeah, we could. Up to the line goes J Luke then. Probably the smartest move J Luke has made. It's not going to be pole, but it's going to be third. Wow. wow. I didn't see him jumping MCR, but that is great stuff. And what, what we got to look forward to now as well is who's on that wet setup? Who's on who's compromised? Who's run a pure dry setup? I would assume someone like Harry 
knowing his pace, because he's not a slow guy, I would assume that he, and it's even Ryan B, and probably Demorts as well, because I don't have Demorts being a second and a half slower than, or over a second slower than Farrell. I think Demorts is running a dry setup. If I was in their situation, I would have run a dry setup because I, I would be like a boat in the race um, if it was dry, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, I think quite a few people will be running a dry setup. Some people will be running a balanced setup, so they would be making sure it's good for the dry and the wet, which is hard on this game, not going to lie. So, for the second week in a row, Toyn Coin is pole once again by four tenths over Farrell. We've got J. Luke, MCR, Guapo, Chill, Cool Licker, Matt Tibos, Cam, D Mort, your top 10. Ryan B, Julie Show, Harry, Aledi, your top 14. They're the only ones to settle up. And MTFC did not settle that time when he was on the softs. All everyone's fastest time was on the wets. No one improved on the inters. So, wets were the time to be on. We did. Um, think that the Inters would be the best tyre, but it just took a while for the standing water to uh, clear up, which is a real, real, real shame, because I, I would have kind of wanted uh, something different, but uh, there we go, it happens sometimes. Absolutely, and I've, I've seen one of the maddest comments I've ever seen, I think, in D3. Um, uh, MCFC has said, softs on a wheel track don't go. I mean, softs, yes, they don't go in the rain, but if you're calling Zambor a wheel track, I would, that, that, that to me is, is a controversial statement. I would say that is a... I would not call this a wheel track, personally. De not. Uh, definitely not. And that's taken to account us be both on a wheel. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's, it's pad OP, OK? Uh, if anyone thinks it's not pad OP, uh, they can talk to me after the stream. Um, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it, it's absolutely true. So, we are about to get into the race, and as I was saying, it's a, a dry session at the moment. It's either going to be like the normal uh, D3 strategy, hard to medium or medium to hard. Not sure how many safety cars we could get around here. Probably not as much as other tracks on the calendar, luckily. But knowing D3, they will get some safety cars. Bearing in mind, there's certain drivers like... Uh, White, while well, Wyu's not here tonight, I think he could get eliminated from the championship fight if D Mortz and Chill score well, as does a few other people as well, because we've got we've got four we got four more rounds we got three more rounds left after tonight. We've got Jeddah next week. Oh god. Um we've got <laughs> Belgium the week after, and we got the sprint in Brazil for the final. Oh, I'm looking for I'm looking forward to that if I'm back on, on my holiday in time. But anyway. Formation lap is on. So, Guapo and Demorts and Aledi choosing the mediums. I quite like that strategy here um, because the hearts can go a long way. They mm. really can. They can. They can go at a push. 27, 28 laps. Uh, you're in puncture territory, maybe depending on your pressures, but. They can go a long way. If there is a safety car, which I would assume there would be, especially judging by that qualifying session, I, I think I don't know. You're gonna the, the mediums aren't that hard wearing here, so there could be some safety car shenanigans here. I would I would suspect. Yeah, with this grid, I, I would say definitely. So I think Guapo, Demort, and Aledi are gonna hope for a million safety cars. Everyone else is gonna be like, you know what? I don't want any safety guards at all, just until the medium period. Um, and then that, that'll be fine. I have to say, both the Abitari's doing well this week, P2 and P3. J. Luke has always done well in qualifying, but never translates to the race. But he does usually have a good comeback at, uh, towards the end if he has a spin. So he is quick. He just needs to improve his consistency. Touring coin since he's joined the league, he's been rapid. I won't be surprised to see him in D2 next season. Um, if he's not, I'll be surprised. Farrell as well, doing a stellar job. But again, we won't know who will do well in the dry because we haven't seen some dry running. This is the first dry running we get to see all night for D3. Yeah, 100%. And one thing that really makes this spicy is the title fight because I would say Toyncoin is the fastest driver in the division, but he's nowhere near the title fight. And Farrell is no slouch. And so this just... It could mean that the amount of points available for the top two shrinks, which is exciting for us because it means we're probably going to see a, a last race showdown. Of, oh, of, hello, of some spinners. 
<laughs> I have to say, it's banned in a few few leagues I'm in, to be honest, which I, I think it's a good idea because it distracts me. But uh, um, I believe it's one of the Alpines about to go to his grid slot. Will we get mm. no disqualifications? We've got no disqualifications. Well done. So it's either green or purple. Five red lights are on. Toy coin on the left. Foul on the right. And it is lights out. And away we go. And go away, camera. There we go. That's a bad camera angle. Foul's got a really good start heading towards T1. But so does Toy coin. J Luke holding on to third spot as MTR. It's got past Grappo up to four. But Grappo gets the cut back as well. That could be a really interesting fight. Chill, on the other hand, trying to fight with his teammate Cam as well. Children trying to go round the outside there into oh. turn four. Gonja, and it's a home favourite, Mark. Caller Kick has lost his front wing. Awful. Awful luck for him. I think he just got on the power slightly too early out of that corner, which he can do, and then you get that horrible, horrible snap of oversteer, and that was his wing gone. Hopefully he carries on. Mm. There's going to be a long way to go. A long, long way to go in this. He won't be the first person to do that. Toy coin is absolutely flying out there on the circuit. He's already pulled a 1.2 second gap, but I think he's definitely running a dry out. Two of the uh, Alpha Tauris are running line of stern, but you can see Guapo is very quick on these mediums and wants to get past ASAP. He almost got a bit squirmy on exit, heading past the DRS zone. He's going to try and make a move on J Luke to no avail, unfortunately, this lap, but. He's going to get the tow from J. Luke um, on lap two. No DRS, of course, but he's going to use his battery. So we're already going to ball with Grappo now as Toyn Coin sets the fastest lap, which is a machine. So he's, he's going to go down the right-hand side then. He goes, and J. Luke, mm -hmm. great defensive move from J. Luke. He, he knew where Grappo was going to go and was like, nope, you're not having my position. Oh, almost gone that, but luckily no problems there. As uh, J. Luke, he's doing a brilliant job. And uh, none of the medium runners are making inroads at the moment. And I think it just goes to show qualifying, I have to say, is even more important around Zanvoort and Monaco. And I'm trying to think about uh, what, are, what other tracks I think has had uh, a qualifying importance this season. Not many, but Zanvoort mm. is one of the most important, I have to say, because in relation, Especially. there's not many people that's gained positions. Sorry. Yeah, no, especially because of Demortz. So Demortz is in a nightmare situation. He's got Chill's teammate, who I don't know how close Chill and Kamke are necessarily, but I think they, they definitely work together. And Kamke will be conscious that Demortz is behind him and Demortz will, wants to get past because this, every lap he stays behind them, they gain and he loses. So mm. this is really, really good stuff. Chill will be very relieved to see Cam behind at this point and a Grappo... He's lost a bit of time, actually, to Jalik, so he's not going to make anything on this lap, we don't think. DRS enable, so maybe that could help him get past J. Luke um, in a, a, a set to, to go. Uh, so Judy shows past Harry up to 13th. MCFC, who started last, he's um, into 12th. And don't forget, top 12 in LOE, score points. And you do get fastest lap as well if you're inside oh, the top demons. 12. Demort, he's going to go for a move on camera, it looks like. Ooh, oh, contact being made on in the exit turn six. That's the head through turn seven now. Demort is trying to be very, very brave, and it's not good, if you, especially if you're in a title fight. Cam knows that Demort is behind him, so Cam, I think, is going to make life very difficult for him as MCFC has made another position. So he's doing well on these hard tyres. I'm a bit surprised Ooh. that the mediums are not doing as well. As Ryan B... What's happened to Matt Dibos there? He just had a snap of oversteer, a bit like the, someone did in quality when Harry binned it, but he managed to keep it out of the wall. It's actually very good reactions. I'm amazed he kept it out. But Demort's now all over the back of Cam. In a weird way, Chill probably doesn't want to break DRS to Cam. No. Because that's probably Demort's best chance of getting past. If, if he does, Demort's will get past Cam easy. So I would imagine, and I know Chill, and I know he thinks about this kind of stuff, I imagine he will probably be looking to keep Cam in DRS. Yeah, Chill knows what he's talking about as well. He's going to gain quite a bit on Demort if Demort can't get past Cam, but I, w I won't be surprised if Demort goes for another risky strategy here as he's got quite a bit of battery to use up anyway. It's very hard to go for a move around turn six and make it work. And it's, it's his inside curb that could send people into a spin as uh, the home favourite not doing well in P15. He had to pick quite early due to a 
damage front wing, so he had to go on um, mediums. But he can use the set of hearts that he started on um, later on as well, because he's only had a one lap of running anyway, so it's not too bad. His race is not over yet. We could have a safety car, which could change things quite massively here as well. As uh, looks like Demorts was fell on traction here on exit through uh, this part of the of the of the of the lap. So Demorts is going to use his DRS yellow flag. That is a Lely that's off. But that's not what's important at the moment. Here comes Demorts. This is crucial for the championship. Is he going to go left or is he going to go right? Or is he going to go nowhere at all? He's going to go right. Very brave. He's got the move done. And J. Lucas spun. Ooh, that looked like he was in the wall as well. No, he's but not. He's I got can't... no damage. Yeah, that's strange, actually. A lot of people doing really well of keeping it out the wall, which is normally here if you go you, you you're in there so fair play a couple of mistakes but people have kind of um nullified them as much as possible but demort's now he will be very very happy to have got rid of cam now yes. it's chill and it's going to be harder now because chill and and, and uh, mcr and agrappo are in that own, their own little train i can't see this getting any easier particularly because those tires are getting more worn yeah it, it looks like it from Dean Mortz's situation, doesn't it? But I think you need to get past a lot of the hard runners ASAP. Ideally, he's got aim for at least fourth place. But he's got Guap on the memes that's doing a much better job, but it's a little bit further back. So he's probably thinking, why am I not up there? But that's because he had a horrific qualifying session as well. Fowler, I think, is doing a great job keeping Toincoin at bay. And 1.4 seconds. So he is closing in ever so slightly. Biggest gainers so far, by the way, this race is Demort and MCFC up four. Biggest losers Ooh. is Caller Kicker and Yellow Flag. And Lady, yeah, he kept and Lady it, he again. He did manage again. There's some of the, the some of the spins these guys are doing. They're keeping it out of the the, uh, the end game. Yeah, like I'm genuinely amazed. But Demort is looking very racy. But what do you do here? I mean, I think this is a net win for him in a weird in a weird way oh as a lady i think a lady might have had rear wing damage judging from the contact because i was on board with it so yeah I it don't... looks like it doesn't it i have to say i've experienced it before never tried to waste ra race with rear wing damage because i i did it once and i kept spinning i tried to keep going yeah. and i was three laps down and i retired on the final lap and i binned it so there we go I, I, I can understand why Lenny retired because uh, uh, from, from, from first-hand experience, rear wing damage around here, you do not want to get. Because you try to get on the throttle as quickly as you can and you can't, you just keep spinning everywhere. And it's a trap where really you need to get on the throttle quickly anyway. But Demorts, his next challenge is chill. He's going to, I think, keep an eye on the yellow flags that Lenny has left the session. Now, Lenny can confirm, by the way, if he's got rear wing damage. I'm a bit wired now that I might get it in my race. Oh my goodness. Luckily, a lady's ghosted. Because who knows what, what could have happened. But uh, there we go. MCR doing well in fourth place. The only person in the top 10 to uh, maintain position up front, apart from obviously Foul and Toying Coin. But out of this midfield group, MCR is uh, keeping chill at bay at least. And uh, we could see a three way fight for P4 Cam, unfortunately after Demort's being passed by him as a uh, MCFC. Oh, no, no. I think he's got rear ring damage as well, the way he went into the wall. That, that is a nightmare. I'll tell you what, what I find really interesting is that MCR and Chill should be thinking here. Ooh, was, Chill was getting so close to the back of MCR. Mm. The, the, if they can keep with a grapple, that's a net win for them because... Obviously, they're on the slower compound, and it's only going to get easier to stay with them. So I, I think this is actually probably quite a positive for them, if they can keep pace with him. There's, the only problem now is Chill. Chill's actually made a move. Wow, that's actually huge. Oh, no, maybe not. Yeah, he's got it done. MCR kind of turned in a bit there. I, I, I think he could have let it go a bit easier. But he's lucky that Demortz wasn't a little bit closer, because Demortz could have snuck through there too. But Guapo actually... Is a Guap has left the session. Wow. That's that good news for Chill. He's gonna I'm gain gonna... masses through here. Do you know what? Once upon a time in D3, someone was on pole at Zanvor and the championship leader was it was benefited hugely from a disconnection. 
That man was Caesar, if anyone remembers him, and the D3 championship leader was me. <laughs> and that massively helped me. I mean, this exact same situation this is actually quite eerie. That was before so, I joined LOE, believe it or not. Yes, yeah, it was a, it was a while ago. So, oh, as a guapo is just, his ghost is seemingly giving up positions like it's a, a blue flag. But this is, in some ways, it's almost not ideal because the train is smaller now. So Demort should be able to actually benefit from that and could sneak past them with the right kind of move and mcr mcr doesn't go for it which two will be very thankful about i think so because the more the more you try and fight for position the more that you lose time to the likes of foul and toy coin in front as well and the more that the likes of guapo a uh, cam can catch up cam's gonna get past guapo anyway but it's gonna be very distracting i find oh, ghost very show. distracting judy shows off um no front wing damage, but I'm almost certain he's got rear wing damage from that. But it's hard its hard to tell, actually, from the visuals if they got rear wing damage or not, which mm. is not good. Oh, J. Luke and Ryan B going at it. Obviously, J. Oh, this is great fighting. Ryan B takes the inside line and gets the position back. J. Luke will have DRS, so he will be able to just... He could make a move into this corner, but he is flashing, unfortunately. So it's probably not going to be enough. I don't think so. I have to say, I, I did say, um, even though he spins, JLo, he still likes to uh, gain an old position. And technically, he's still within this train. So technically, he could go mm. back to where he was. But to be honest, without that spin, he would have been wet near where Fowl was. But it shows that he has the pace here. He's derating in DRS, by the way, 0%. And if you're less than 10%, you're in trouble. So uh, JLo's going to do all he can to save battery. It is hard to save battery around it. As I found out on one lap 10 of 36, I'll get the tyres uh, back again. Because it won't be that long, I think, before the mediums decide to come in for a set of hard compounded tyres. And the hards are going to hope that it is, there will be no safety cars in between that because it will benefit the medium runners more than anything else. But Toy Coin increases his advantage up front, 2.2 seconds over Farrell. And Farrell's increasing his gap over Chill, 4.3 seconds. Closest battle is Ryan B and Joe. The yellow flag set to one. That is Cool Logica, who's had a spin in turn four. Ooh, yeah, MCR's, turn four. MCR's made a mistake, so that gap has got bigger. Again, if I'm chill, I'm not pushing. I'm lit. Oh, do you know what? He lost a tenth randomly there. Wouldn't surprise me if Chill is actually thinking, let me keep you there. Let me keep you in DRS because you're keeping, you're basically compromising Demortz's race. And also, it helps Cam. Helps can potentially get back into the fold. It does as well. And I think Ryan B is uh, making sure J Luke stays behind. I, I doubt J Luke's going to go for it anyway with DRS. But let's watch D Mortz as Matt Tibos gets past the ghost in AI or Guapo. D Mortz was trying to go around the outside there in turn four, but doesn't quite do it, unfortunately. Good recovery from him, but surely he wants to be, I think, even higher at the moment because he knows Chill is. Uh, edging away from him right now, which is not what he wants in terms of the championship with that many races to go. And uh, if Chill keeps eating at, your, at the gap, then that, the chance of you winning the title will become bad and bad and bad. But we want it to be close because that's what's good. As Demos, oh, MCR's made a mistake um, on corner exit turn 10. As uh, Demortz gets past him up to fourth. Brilliant job from Demortz. And he's chasing down Chill now for third. Oh, Chill, look. Chill's has realised he's actually used a bit of a bit of hers to keep that gap over a second. He knows what he's doing here. This is a really, really clever stuff. Because what he's managed to do is break DRS to Demortz. So Demortz wins in some ways, but loses in others there. I think someone needs to invite Guapo into the session. Well, I, A, I don't have him, and B, I'm streaming, so... Um, I, I'll give it a go. Let's oh, f thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark, you legend. And hopefully we can get him back soon, because he's dropped down there. Oh. Massive. What? Oh. Can I do it? I can. Right, OK. There we go. Oh, good, 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 good. Because, yeah, I think, you, I, think, I, think, I think if he's not in the lobby, he should be fine. Yellow flag. That's Julie's show again. It's the same corner, turn one. People keep binning it because they get too early on the throttle. 
We'll see if, if he's got... If he's tentative on the throttle, then he's got weird ring damage. If he's not tentative on the throttle, then he's fine. But I think we've got to keep an eye on the midfield battle more than anything. As uh, Matt Tibos... Where is Matt Tibos come all of a sudden? He's in this fight as well. So that could be interesting in uh, this uh, next stages of the race as well. And uh, Jay Luke has managed to save up some errors. So uh, if I was in, maybe start pushing as soon as you get past the banking. Yeah, I can't invite him. It's greyed out for me. It says it, players already in the session. So I, I yeah, I, 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 I tried it just now. I can't. Well, I, I, I think I had some issues as well when I was trying to invite people that left. I couldn't say greyed out as well. So it will have to be a PS4 player that invites you. As a oh no, J Lucas spun again. Same place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah same place. That is not ideal for him. Again, really good pace, but like you said, just has a mistake in him, doesn't he? So um, he could have been way um, higher in the championship as well without those spins, which is it's going for him really. That he knows he's had potential, but it is a it is a hard, it is a hard track, Zanvor. Um, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a track that needs a that needs a lot of traction. But if you're running no traction control, then uh, you're gonna struggle. S same with media potentially as well. So anyone yeah. running full, I envy because they're going to have so much traction. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I oh, Ooh, D -Mods. D -Mods in the wall. That's, wow. front, that's rear wing, I think, or front wing. I don't know. It was definitely, I think it was front. I didn't see the rear make contact. Um, I think the front made contact. So it's going awfully slow, which Grappa Pits. won't be too pleased about. It's going to go yeah, in for in. cars, I think. Makes sense. You might as well then. Um, and uh, a grappo gains a place. The ghost of a grappo, I should say. <laughs> so he comes in then, into the pits. Oh, what? The ring was fine. Or it was it minor, change. and you forgot to change. Uh, and you f and uh, Gabe forgot to change it. My advice is, if you, if it's green, if it's like lying green, you can see it's damaged. If it's minor front wing damage, the game won't change it. You have to set front wing damage to repair to yes. So, d mm. if you're watching or listening, make sure you do that next time. Because that's what I've learned on this game. Always set it to yes. Because then when you get front wing damage, even if it's minor, it gets repaired. I have to say, Ryan B and Matt Tibos have got some really good pace. They've actually caught up to the back of Kamke, who seems to be struggling a bit, as well as MCR. I think they might well be the fourth quickest on this track. And uh, look at this. I think one thing that's really interesting to me is that yes, Demort's had a spin, but remember, Cooler Kick had got that front wing damage really early on in the lap. Look at the undercut he's got on Demort. That is actually quite impressive. So he went around a whole lap with, with no front wing, and he's managed an undercut on it. It just shows you how powerful those mediums actually are. So. Obviously, he will have to come in, but it's a really interesting point for how much of an undercut you can get and how much quicker they are. So he's not out of this because if there's a safety car any time now, he can jump onto those mediums. Demort is in again. You were spot on. Yeah, I think I think I, I was spot on with the front wing change. And uh, please repair it. There he goes. He's going to be a lap down soon if he's not careful. Mm. Because Toy and Coin are going through the final part of the lap now. I think Demos was listening to the stream there. <laughs> yeah, he should be okay because obviously these guys have to pit. So yeah. he, he should be fine. To Even if he gets past and even if he spins again, I think he'll actually be fine as long as he stays out when if NFC comes out. Um, a grappa wants to be my friend. Okay, you can be my friend. And hopefully that will help you get in. Um, so let me see if the lap works. Guapo's AI is still ninth, though, bearing in mind, and still in that train. Yeah, it's, 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 it's doing actually quite well, to be fair. Yeah, but he would have rather been near the front. But we we can't... We, we, we try... Oh, goodness, Matt Tibos pretty much hit the back of Ryan B. That might have given him rear wing damage. I hope not. I hope that's not the case. But we are approaching almost halfway into this race once we get to the end of lap 18. And that could be the time where people decide to go and pit. 
there's not much of a difference for when you go in pit for the hards or the mediums, really. It's only about two laps difference. So maybe yeah. starting on the hards could be a good, a better option because you're going to have a really good grip at the end. The mediums last forever around here. Um, mm. It pretty much lasts half the race. So that, that, that's going to be good if you're the likes of, obviously, the top eight as well. Jaylick could technically still be back in this as well. 1.9 seconds over Toyin Coin. Toyin Coin hasn't been as dominant compared to last week. I think he's been more dominant last week compared to this week, but he's still leading and that's all that counts. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, poor, poor Grappo, he's, he's asked for an invite and I, I, I can't do it. I wonder if he restarts, if it might, might kind of unlock him from the, from the game. Yeah, if I, or, or maybe close the game. Yeah, close the game. That might work. And then... Um, that could work. Gonna restart everything, but then by then I'll be last. Yeah, you will. But if there's a safety car, you're back in it. So um, that could be the way to go. So I'll well, yeah, we surprisingly we had no safety car yet. I thought we'd have got at least one by now. I tell you what's really interesting is that f this is quite a high fuel use track. If anyone is under fueled ever so slightly, just anticipating the, uh, the That's safety car. That's a good car. point. I've oh, run I out of fuel now. many a times around here. Not yeah, nice. No, I was very lucky, though, to have not lost a position. Uh, mm. or I only lost, like, one or two. As Demorts goes uh, quickest, you can tell how powerful these memes are, actually, as well. When will the top two pit? That is my question. Yeah, I mean, any time from now, really. They, the, the mediums can make it. They can make it. But I'm wondering if they're just thinking they're so far ahead... Of you know, Farrell's got a massive gap. So Inquin's probably feeling quite comfortable out ahead of Farrell. They don't need to do an undercut really. They can react probably in time, and and they don't want to get caught up by an SC. So doesn't surprise me that the front five really haven't done it. Look for Ryan B or Tibos probably to make one of the earlier stops. Would be my prediction. J Luke's in. <clears throat> J. Luke mm. is in. Well, he's got nothing to lose in that respect. So, I think... No, he doesn't. He's, he's made the right call. He's got nothing to lose. He wasn't clear air anyway. He's not anymore. I think that's what's not helped him was the, the, the dirty air in front of him, which is a lot harder mm. around his trap more than anything. But if there's a safety car, it could be bring back back in this. But uh, wasn't expecting him to pit first. But uh, would that trigger Matt Tibbos and Harry maybe? To come in next, maybe Ryan B, Julie Show as well. That could be, I think, quite intense. But we'll see if any of the top two come in. No, they do not. Chill stays out, MCR. Nope, he stays out. Cam. Ryan B's oh, in. Cam thought about it, but he was like, no, I'm not coming in. So Ryan B comes in. Harry, I think, is going to follow him in. I'm almost certain of it. No? Okay. Um, Judy Show, he's going to come towards the final corner. So, Ryan B making the gamble. Again, he has got nothing to lose at this stage because he can warm his tyres up. Judy Show is in as well. So, what's really interesting as well oh, is... Oh, no. Ryan B has got a lovely amount of fresh air. Now, those tyres are cold. and they, This is a horrible corner to take on cold tyres. You've got to be so careful. And you can see from the throttle inputs how careful he was. And he just needs to just nurse these in for a few corners by the time you get round at the end of sector two they're pretty much up to temp it's one of the better tracks for it and as long as they don't react i mean you'd imagine cam k reacts and matt tibos reacts i would imagine that, that, that this is going to be the lap where they go especially seeing cooler kicker you know on 17 laps old medium still going round they'll know that they can get to the end because cooler kicker is still going round Farrell is into the pit so the first of our leaders to come in onto medium tires that will probably um, put some worry on Chill and MCR, maybe Toin Coin as well. Because the gap to Chill and Toin Coin is 9.1 seconds. Toin Coin has got some clear air. If he's going to use his battery, then I know you'll come in maybe this lap or next lap. So Foul comes out. He only co he comes out in fifth. That's not bad. That's not mm. bad at all. Cam is in. Yellow flag as Julie Show gets free. J. Luke again. Oh, careful! Ooh. Don't don't unghost. Oh my goodness! 
That's a nasty place to get stuck. <clears throat> yeah, luckily he wasn't beached, because if he was beached, he would have been in a lot of trouble. I don't think you're allowed to reset the track up in this league. No. I mean, if you're beached, you can. Oh, if you're beached, you're beached you, can. you can. Oh, good. But only if you're not beached. <clears throat> Jay Lee's got a five skip panel, he's feeling in the pit lane. Respect to him, but still going. <laughs> Toy coin in. Toy coin is in Ma as well. Chill's got to come in, surely. Yeah, I'd think so. It yeah, makes sense is. now. There's no point dragging them out. MCR. Imagine everyone will pit. And Matt yeah. Tibos. Yeah, everyone's going to come in now. So where is Ryan B? Ryan B's just ahead of oh. Cam. Tibos. Tibos, you naughty people. <laughs> There's a lot of speeding in the pit lane penalties. That's not good. Well, watch Foul then. Has he pitted a lap ago? And... Sh and it was, it's the same gap. It's around about the same gap, but Foul's going to be on warmer tyres. This could be his chance. Yeah. This could work, work out for him. It's around about the same, same gap. How are we still yet to box? I think he's the only one that's still yet to box, as well as Cooler Kicker. And it was gained the most out of this situation. I think no one. I think it's just pretty much the same. I think the one who's gained the most, I think, was Foul on time at least. Well, Tibos jumped two positions, but obviously he's got the five-second pen. Cam Kane's actually lost two. Um, ah. And Ryan stayed where he is. It's just Matt and Cam Kane have swapped. But Ryan, will, you know, arguably is the net beneficiary of it. Well, he has got the oldest tyres, but um, it shouldn't matter tons. It's not a massive differentiation between the two. But I'm very surprised. Look, again, it's the um, <clears throat> the undercut seems to have worked somewhat for Fatal. He's quite... A lot closer to Twin Coin. A chill is nowhere. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely perplexed, actually. I think Chill will probably won't be that bothered because he knows that Demorts will not, at this rate, will not score any points. So we just got to focus on staying ahead of um, Demorts. As long as he doesn't bin it, he is lagging for me quite badly. Or it might be just me. Um, it might mm. be just me, but I, I, I don't know. I, I, hopefully that doesn't uh, carry on to, for the rest of the race. But uh, yeah, foul now 1.3. So the gap has come down. Julie Show's got past the MTFC around the outside. Can he make it stick? Yes, he can. Julie Show up to 11th. Points mean prizes. Well, points don't mean prizes, but points mean higher in the championship. And Julie Show has, uh, has done that. MCFC needs a safety car. He's already under fueled. So is he the only little... one that's under fueled? Well, I, uh, to the point where he's under at the moment. Maybe a few could have, but to tell you one thing to keep an eye on here, which I'm finding very fun, is Harry's strategy. I think Harry might be trying to do hard, soft, and basically goal hanging for a safety car, which mm. I don't hate as a strategy. I think it's quite. It's quite inventive I, I'm, for someone I'm very who's tempted to do it tonight, but every time I try <laughs> to do it, it just doesn't work because there's no safety car. Yeah, I think I tried, problem, it in it? I tried it in Austria last season and it didn't work. So when, when we went to Austria yeah. last week, I was like, you know what, I'm playing it safe and it worked. Yellow flat chills oh. out the race. No. What safety an unbelievable car, bottle job. Oh, no, safety car. Chill you bottle job. Oh, that is absolutely crazy. He's got no pressure. He was in third by a yard and a half from everybody. He was making... Demortz is down there. Demortz is now going to gain a point on him almost automatically. Wow. That is one of the craziest things I have seen. I'm... I'm that is such an error. Can we... Uh nominate him for the biggest bottle job in D3 I mean that's gotta be it's up there he's in third he was never getting second he was never getting fourth he was never you gonna know, win the thing I'm I'm flabbergasted that, that is that's good news for a caller kicker who hasn't pretty much he's only stopped that one yeah it's great news for him I mean that's exactly why you carry on and it's and really good news for Harry Demort now Demorts, why have you gone for softs? They don't make it. Out of to... mediums. Oh yeah, he has. But softs don't make it to the end. I don't think they last eleven laps. And we got more than that to go. 
Unless yeah. he's unless the only thing that I can think he's doing is he's running around on them. And then pitting. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know, but did he start on hards? Can you check for me? On race director. I feel like, he, I feel like unless he's gone harder or softer. Why would you go just... harder or softer around Zambor? He has used both sets of mediums, yeah. He has used both sets of mediums, so he started on the mediums. He, sh he should have stayed on the mediums that he was on then. I think so, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm a bit shocked. Or Matt Tim maybe what he's on softs. Oh wow. Maybe what, maybe what he's doing is he's actually going. He's trying to reduce the wear on those mediums. He knows he's going to be last anyway, so he's just going round, and then he's going to go back in on the mediums. Yes, that's a clever. <laughs> it's actually quite clever. So he's just. Oh yeah, because he did use lap. a different. Because he didn't go on that hard at all. He just wants to use at least one different tire compound. No, no, no. He was. He's, he used the hards too. He used the hards. Why is he on uh, so hards? Oh my god. Hang on. Maybe he's listening to us. Maybe. Um, I would have gone back on those mediums. I would have gone on those mediums as well. Oh my. I, Dean Morse is going to hate us. Uh, or. Maybe this is a plan, and he goes back onto the softs because the safety car will stay out. I, I at this point, I'm kind of guessing. I, but I liked it if he was going to stay out for a couple of laps. On the yeah, softs I, I, or, or he would have stayed out on mediums and then go on the softs like lap 25 or whatever. Yeah, this is it. Right, Tibos, this is interesting. This is very interesting. We're going to see him fly. Look where Harry is, by the way. Six. What a great result for him. And did we say oh. he was hoping for a safety car? And guess well, what he's it. done? Yeah, this is crazy. And a Guapo also is going to benefit. He has got a three second pit. I reckon he might get that removed because it seemed to be something to do with a pit lane line. So mm. there could be, as long as he doesn't get another warning, he may actually. Um, end Hopefully up his AI that didn't give him anything. And there's that, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so Farrell was in a great place. He's obviously got the freshest tyres at the, this lot. He had, he had nothing to lose by pitting again because he had that gap anyway because everyone else, I think, pitted recently. So that's a, that's a good move from Farrell, I think. If he had, the, ga if he had yeah. the gap, why not pit and use your second set of memes? You've got nothing to lose. You're going to be on the best tyres and you're more than likely going to be able to push more at the end compared to your rivals. So... Foul, I think, is in a good shot for winning this one. But he's got to pass MTR and Toy Coin, which is easier said than done. Everyone has done their mandatories now, so that is good. The only one, realistically, that can't make it to the end is Matt Tibos. Everyone else, with their tyres they've got on now, should be able to get to the end of this Grand Prix. So, unfortunately for Chilly, I think he had a bit of an issue. Is Looked it like a wheel some or, or a wheel or pad issue? Yeah, like stick drift. If you, it's in the D3 chat. It, it, it seems like the game just completely st steered him left when he should be going right. And um, you can tell from the way the, the um, wheel's moving, it's a very unnatural. Oh uh, yeah, so. it says the right stick had very slight drift down, but the left is fine. Yeah, I know someone else that had that, and I think they had to get a new controller or something. I swear, yeah, Chill is... was on a wheel. No, he's oh, he's, 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 he's oh my pad. god! What's he done? He uh, he we he went off, but luckily he's gone back on the circuit. Oh my goodness! Oh that okay. Well, I I remove all slander from from his name now. That's uh. Awful. What have you nicknamed him? Well, no, just for calling him a bottle job. I don't I don't think I don't think we can. That, I think yeah, that that's, be, uh... that's not a bottle job now. <laughs> God love him. Um, but yeah, that is that is actually brutal. And the worst thing is, is his title rival was nowhere. It's like double compounded. It's it's gone from an 18 point lead. Safety to, cars in. To nothing probably. It's they're probably going to be dead even now. I've just had a word about Guapo. Um, Guapo picked new mediums. It puts old mediums on, then gives him a three second penalty randomly. So if he hasn't got any warnings, that could get removed. Yeah, I think it was something to do with the pit entries. Yeah. Toycoin is going to be our... He's going to be the... This is such a hard track to, to safety car restart as well because that blind nature of the last corner 
sometimes you don't know if people have gone legitimately and it can cause a pile up so hopefully these guys are a bit sensible if toy coin in any way pump fakes this could cause chaos behind oh god please don't have a magello restart remember what happened <laughs> there that caused a big pile up and then there was another safety car straight afterwards but toy coin looks like he is going to go now. That's a good place, I think, to go for it. He's not giving that much of a toe. Foul's gone past MCR quite immediately into turn number one. Nicely done on fresher tyres. Cam trying to go around the outside of Ryan B. Yellow flag. That is MCFC. That is off. j Luke's had a bit of an off as well. He's gone on softs as well. To the view. Oh, contact for Caller Kicker and Guapo. Guapo's oh, no. day has gone from bad to worse. And look at Demort. Demort is just—he doesn't have to do anything, and he's just going to—he's going to pick he's up. He's going to be taking the lead. The, the lead. championship, if he—if he's in tenth. Actually, no, he's not. He needs to—he needs to finish yeah. ninth or eighth. Well, the, yeah, it depends on the. Uh, they'll be tied as it stands, and obviously, oh, GD yeah, Show has a pen. Oh yeah, he'll be tied as it stands, but GD Show's got free. Oh yeah. So, Chill will just be looking at this, going, "Please, can no one crash? Or well, can one person crash?" Well, I think the one that he wants crashing is Demort. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else, he's fine, because I don't think anyone else will catch up. So he doesn't mind if, if, any, if, um, if, um, if no one else crashes apart from uh, Demort, really. But uh, Matt Tibble's on the softs. He's not making that much headway at the moment, which is not ideal. He's going to be stuck in that traffic jam for a long period of time. Cam shuts the door, but is a bit open through turn two. Ryan B almost made a mistake up front as well. He has to go around the outside surely into turn oh, number four. And the Alonso line. The Alonso line, yes. I wonder if the Alonso line will be used this year in real life. Matt Tibbles is through. Wow, what a great overtake. That just, what a brilliant corner that is. Just the fact that you can take a high and low line. That's like so Daytona. good. Isn't? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's absolutely brilliant. I really enjoy that addition to to the calendar. It's something completely different. But Tibos has got he's got to get a move on. I I, I fancy him and Ryan to, to to make pace on on MCR. I think they were quicker. But I tell you what, Farrell has absolutely latched onto the back of Toynkoid. He's not done what he did at the beginning of the race at all. So because he's got the gonna... fresher tyres, Mark. He's got the fresher tyres. He mm. had the gap, and it's paying off for him. Now, I did say he's got a good shot of winning this race. And he's going to have DRS soon. DRS will be enabled this lap, I believe. So he's not going to go for it now. But if he had DRS then, he, he would have gone for it. I'm really excited yeah, for the final few laps of this race. As Cooler Kicker has got past Harry up to seventh. Good move. That Harry giving him move. lots of space. Which was good to see as well. It wasn't too much... Uh, no, no tyre pushing. It was just all, all good, clean fun. And I'm amazed with Cooler Kicker, Harry and Judy show, and Demorts, really, and a Guapo, really, because, you know, look, this is an advert for carrying on when you've had a internet the first few laps. And, and J-Luke. Yeah, and, and J-Luke. You know, J-Luke's not out of it at all. I mean, question is his, his tyre to us, but, but well, he should be fine, Well, he's better than Matt is, so... Yes, it's true, very true. I but... think he could get it to the end. Give or take, J Luke. Well, I'm, I'm questioning Matt Tibos. J Luke, I think, should be fine. But his optimum pace is going to lose out pretty quickly. So he's just going to hope someone ahead of him retires and he'll get points. <laughs> the thing that scares me about J Luke is that the one thing that I've noticed with the softs is that they overheat here, depending on your setup. They I've do. seen him spin a lot. <laughs> So if he was spinning on the mediums and hards, he needs to be careful of those temps because that could very easily happen. But he should get this move done and that will bring him up to 12. Cooler kicker taking a very interesting line through turn two as J. Luke has got past MCFC up to 12. So at the moment, J. Luke's in the points. He will probably remain in the points. But don't forget, Guapo could get that penalty removed as uh, where's Matt Tibos in all of this? He... I think if he doesn't get past these two now, he's going to struggle for the rest of the race, I think. But we're on lap 30 of 36. As yellow flag, that is Julie Shader's round. Yeah, Demort's now up into ninth, legitimately, and he's got Harry ahead of him. And I suspect he'll fancy his chances against Harry. But that might be where he stops. But I tell you what, eighth place. 
a five a 20 point swing that will be because he was going to lose probably 15 points to to chill if chill <laughs> didn't have that issue uh, no it won't be a 20 point swing it's a three point gap no, what I mean is the alternative universe where that didn't happen to Chill was that Chill was going to gain 15 points on him. Oh, right. Whereas now... <laughs> Whereas now it's going to be a one-point lead over Demort. As Demort could make it two if he gets past Harry. Yes, he does. Yeah, I have to say, good. those hard tyres are doing him a world of good for Demort. Good, good job. Yeah. They're quite a good race tyre. They're not. They're not bad. They they don't overheat. The mediums can, depending again, depending on exactly. setup. Exactly. So that could benefit Demox in the long run. That's probably why it's not too bad. He's even catching on his own teammate. And you've got to wonder as well: is, is Tibos going to fall off a cliff? Is is he going to come into play where he might end up getting caught by Demox? And even someone like Kante on eleven lap old mediums, he's probably not going to be feeling fantastically confident, but. Demont isn't catch in cooler kicker, which probably lends me to feel the DRS also could be a factor where they just uh, drag away under the under the zones. But Tibos, he's he's definitely struggling with them because he's not really making any inroads on on Ryan B, who is actually losing time to MCR, which which does actually shock me a bit. Yep, it does. I think Matt Tibos. He's got to get the move done now, he's got to. But the DRS train is just not helping him at all and he's used a lot of DRS already. So he stays in fifth. This has helped MCFC, by the way, the safety car, because I think, is he all right on fuel now? Yes, he's fine on fuel. So yeah. anyone that's had an issue with fuel before the safety car, well, they had, en they had enough time to uh, save some fuel. Cool looking goes looking like he's going to get past Cam anytime soon. So that, that'll be interesting to see how that develops. I think Farrell, up front, by the way, is going to wait until probably the last penultimate lap to go for it, or even the last yeah. lap as well. He's just saving his ERS right now until the end, and then he can really start to push, or maybe he can go for it now. Let's see if he goes for it now. It doesn't look like it. He is using some DRS, though, mind. No, he's not going for it now. It's very smart from Farrell. Yeah, just, just staying with him. Just, that's all he needs to do. He knows he's got got any pressure behind. He's a reserve driver he as well, I believe. Yes, yeah, he's um, he, he races in the Endure uh, events in the week, and he, he does uh, not particularly great. <laughs> True, won't mind me saying, he's, but he's doing really well. He's, his pace is quite surprising to me. I didn't think he'd be right at the top of D3. He was uh, near, he, to be honest, Toy Coin and Farrell were one and two last week, and they were teammates last week. So, mm. second week in a row, we can see a one-two from both of them. Ooh. Cooler kicker, ooh, just gets squeezed to the outside by Cam K. No, no real harm or fault. It's just uh, two people going through an area of the track where you can't really do it. And uh, he's definitely he's definitely sniffing around Cam K. But now, look, it's brought Dean Mortz into that battle, which is unbelievable, really. I, I, he could This could be so damaging by the end of this. Yeah, I think Demont's I think Demont's wrong tire choice um, by using two of his means has probably come to his favour because Cam's on 13 lap old mediums. Corner Kicker is doing his absolute best to try and get past him, which is not ideal. That's allowing Demont's to go back into this, or maybe Corner Kicker is doing this to bring his teammate into play. That could be a smart move if he could do so. Matt Tibos's final chance. I, I don't know if his tyres are going to make it to the end. Julie Show has gone on soft. Well, he's got nothing to lose at the end of the day. Fair play to him, but still going. Matt Tibos goes to the left. Ooh. I thought he was going to go around the outside then. Is he going to do it? Oh, he loves this. We know he loves this. They're gonna have, he's going to have to give him room. It's he just going to go around the outside. Come on, Matt Tibos. He could go around the outside. Fernando Alonso-esque oh. type move, and he does it. Brilliant! As Guapo Who's has that? spun. Ooh. That that was so nice. But they need to be careful. The they need to be careful. Yeah, and also that might just allow MC MCR a, a free pass now. As uh, Guapo is. Guapo's retired on track. I don't think he meant to do that. <laughs> that brings Judy Show back into it. Fair kudos for carrying on. There's your reward. You're going to get a point. You get, a point is better than no point at all. Yeah, exactly. So, right, the biggest problem now that Tibos has is 
those tyres. Let's be honest, that's his biggest battle at this point. I want to see uh, how how uh, what the tyre wear is at the moment. Add that yeah. in for next year, game. <laughs> that would be great. That would be fantastic. But Demort's now is on the back of Cam. This should be easy. I think easy pick is for Demort. I think there's going to be no challenge. Ooh. Oh, Cam he's leads squeezing it in. him. But Demort gets great it. Pass. Brilliant. Great pass. It's just getting worse and oh. worse. And cooler kicker. Cooler Whoa. kicker's off. I'm actually got to see that. Keep going. Keep going. No, 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 spin it round. You don't want to get disqualified. <laughs> don't get beached. Oh no. Oh, uh, he's oh, he's fine. <sighs> Thank goodness. That would be awful. That would so be at least, awful. At least he's going to pick up a couple of points. But kudos to, Ju um, to, to Judy Show carrying on. And Jay Luke. Look at Jay Luke there. I've been getting three points. But this is the battle we want to see now. I think we've got to have a look at this. They are now neck and neck, Toyn Coin and Farrell. This is where Farrell has to do it. Yeah, because I think the mediums are starting to die for Toyn Coin. So. Foul's got, really got to go for it, and Foul's got the ERS to use as well. So, Foul, he's going to use his ERS now. That is perfect timing. Final lap of this race is Toycoin versus Foul for the win. Toycoin covers to the right hand side, but. Oh, it's a bit of contact mm. for men, but I think they left enough space. Farrell is your race leader then of the Dutch Grand Prix. How long is he going to keep it? I don't know, because Toycoin will have the DRS going through turn 10. They're heading through set to one for the final time, the most technical part of the circuit where you can go flat out around here as well. Foul with the tyre advantage, but Toycoin doesn't have much ERS, so Foul can use the ERS to defend with once we get through this back straight. Heading towards turn number seven, no problem there as well. Matt Tibos, technically still in a shot of a podium, not gonna lie, despite his tyres going kaboof almost. So he could have a shot at this. But here comes Toin Coin. He's got the battery, and I don't think he's going to do it. He's not. I think Farrell was using it to defend as well. Oh, they're so close on this on this uh, final set to here. Coin Coiner, you can tell, is good in the corners. This could be a photo finish here. Around the final corner, through the banking. Who's going to win this race? I think it's going to be Farrell. Not by much, yeah. though. Two tenths of a second. Farrell wins. In the Dutch Grand Prix last week, it was Toin Coin and Farrell. This week, it was Farrell, then Toin Coin, MCRP3, Matt Tibos. Take a bow. It's time management, I have to say. Really good. He could have almost got a podium, but I think he did the right thing staying behind MCR. And uh, <laughs> Ryan B in your top five. Yeah, and uh, Judy Show's had a spin. <laughs> so he's, uh, he's going to collect, somehow he's going to collect two points. But oh, I'll tell you what, that is that is crazy damaging for um for chill. For, for, for chill. That's crazy. But well done to Demons, like getting round and he, he had a shot of Ryan B with one more lap, I think. But missed the P four by the way. I think that's Matt's fourth P four this season. He's not had a podium. He had a sniff. I was riding on board when you were riding on board with the lead battle because they had a sniff going into uh, the back end of sector one, but just couldn't quite get the pace. But yeah, good race. Yeah, I enjoyed that. So um, I'm just trying to see. Kill does not score. Demons must finish ninth to take the lead of the championship. Well, Demons finished higher than ninth. No one is eliminated. So why, why, why? Due to Chill's DNF, is still in this fight even though he's not here. Ryan B is still in this fight. So is Cam, and so is Conor O'Keefe. Obviously, Gat has left the league. But, yeah, we still have a six-way fight for the title. So it could go either way. But, again, it's looking like the top two at the moment. So, uh, yeah, the ones below Dean, well, the ones below Chill, can thank Chill for them still being in a title fight. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I'm going to have to head off because I've got to do uh, put to bed duties. But um, do you want to do, do? Do we normally do interviews and DP? Uh, no, we, we don't usually because again we're on play, we're on PSM party. So uh, uh, yeah, fair. Well, no, no problem. And no I've problem. got to do something. I've got some. I did some final practice earlier, but I'm, I'm just going to do <laughs> a few more laps just to make sure I've got my feeling of the circuit. But anyway, um, best of luck for later on as well. Thank you for joining me. And I'll let you. Uh, I'll let. I'll let you go, and I'll see you on the track later. 
Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Uh, see you later, guys. Right, we'll go for your order then. We've got Farrell, who's leading the way. Toyn Coin um, in P2. Memcr in third. Matt Tibos, fourth. Ryan B, fifth. Demort, sixth. Cam in seventh. Harry, eighth. MTFC, ninth. J. Luke, tenth. Then we've got G. Show and Call Likika in twelfth. Eleventh and twelfth. Guapo in thirteenth. We've got Jill and Leddy, your DNFers. So there we go. We've got to pick our drive of the day. Farrell is one of them. Matt Tibbles is the other one. And oh, I don't maybe Harry, I don't know. I, I I'm going to I'm going to let old school pick the other one. Um unless he wants to pick Matt Tibbles. If he wants to pick Matt Tibbles, I can pick someone else, but uh there we go. But uh, that was a really good race. I I enjoyed that. To be fair, I I I would like to say thanks to Mark by the way for for uh, filling in cuz I wouldn't have been able to do it on my own tonight but it was a really good race i really enjoyed it so that is it then for division three hope you enjoyed it we've got division four and division two on in half well just under half an hour's time as they go around the dutch grand prix circuit and you can cheer me on me and mark as well and uh and just just to let you know mark does like this track on the wheel i don't so, uh, Mark's already way ahead of me in the championship anyway, but yeah, but still. Anyway, make sure you watch uh, Division 2 and Division 4 on right now. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. I hate racing it, but it's a very good track to commentate on, so I can't wait for next week. Have a good evening. Until then, keep uh, take care, stay safe, and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye-bye.